We present an algorithm to track a 3D object through significant inclusion using multiple nearby cameras. When observing a scene with multiple cameras, different parts of the object to be tracked are occluded and unoccluded in each camera view. By leveraging this property and employing synthetic aperture photography, we can track objects through dense occluders. Our method can track across extended occlusion when there's significant trajectory change of the object. In this sequence, the person is behind dense occlusion for 200 straight frames. In synthetic aperture photography, one aligns camera images to a plane and averages them together to approximate a camera with a very large aperture. By aligning to different depths, we can synthetically refocus the image to any depth in the scene. The maximum aperture size is equal to the baseline of the cameras. Therefore, it is possible to construct images that correspond to much larger aperture sizes than images obtained using standard camera lenses. These synthetically constructed images have a very shallow depth of field, and they blur out occluders when they are focused on the tracked object, as seen in the center image. For both methods, the user first marks an initial 2D window on the central camera's image to specify the location of the object to track. We then perform a plane sweep and count the number of low variance pixels in the 2D window. This allows us to automatically pick the initial depth as the depth plane with the highest number of low variance pixels. Our two algorithms proceed from this point. The key difference between our methods is the relative order of aggregation and matching. Our linear tracking method first aggregates the data before matching and then finding the object's location. Our nonlinear method matches first, then detects occlusions per pixel, then aggregates the data before tracking the object's final location. We now show the full length video clips for the results that are discussed in our paper. We use an online learning method so that we can capture change in the object's appearance, such as due to pose, which this sequence exhibits. Also note in this sequence that our algorithm correctly tracks even when the cameras are moving. 